Kaiser Mai Re? That's the question many people want answered tonight. Unfortunately, we still don't know who gunned down the recent college grad in his Midtown Mobile home Friday night, but there is some new information on the case. Chastity Bird is still working the story. She is live outside police headquarters in Mobile. Chastity? Bob and Anise, there was a memorial service in Birmingham today for Kaiser Mai Back here in Mobile, where the 23-year-old lost his life, an investigation is still heavily underway to find the answers everyone wants. Here's the latest. Investigators returned to Macy Place today searching for clues and what led to the death of Kaiser Mai Re. They've been out here investigating and taking pictures and stuff, but I don't think nobody really knows. Tow trucks were brought in to move a pickup and camper that belonged to Myrie. People working on the house next door to the victim's home say there's been a lot going on at the crime scene. We toppled this ladder over here so that it could get on top of the house, <laughs> take a look around. I guess they were looking for a weapon. As word spreads of the death, many questions are being asked. Police still have not said whether they found a weapon inside the house or if any suspects have been named. District Attorney John Tyson Jr. has been involved in the case since Saturday. As much as your viewers would want to know, as much as the family would want to know, we have to hold those details because the primary job that we have right now is to catch whoever did this. When asked if this could be called a murder case, Tyson had this to say. The police have characterized it as a homicide. Homicide includes the idea of murder. It includes a number of other things as well. Uh, the best way to characterize the whole thing is it is under intense, active investigation by the Mobile Police Department. Today, family and friends laid to rest Kaiser Myrie. Hopefully soon, the questions as to what happened will be laid to rest as well. We have continued to stay in touch with Kaiser's family and will continue to do so. We will also continue to bring you the latest information as this investigation goes on. Reporting live from Mobile Police Headquarters.